so we arrived to the Q&A session and uh, we received uh, several questions. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we have a limited time to answer it, so I would like to ask uh, Miha and Stefano to, um, to present the questions and the answers. Thank you, Kata. So uh, regarding questions uh, and comments to the SDAC session, so the first part uh, related to the day ahead market coupling, we received several questions. Um, as you said, uh, we have a limited time, so I will briefly try to describe the question and, and shortly the answer, but I propose that then we provide a, a proper uh, written answer to the, to the audience later on not to use too much time, uh, but maybe uh, we will receive also uh, during this Q&A session some more more comments and questions to the to the uh, day ahead intraday and of course the latest panel discussion. So first, uh, regarding the day ahead market coupling, we received a question uh, related to the price convergence. Um, so uh, someone commented that from uh, as the slide, uh, we could see there, there was no price coupling on average in 2020 and also in 2019. Um, there was no hour where all bidding zones were, were priced coupled. Um, and, and the comment is that since we don't have the congestion in every hour, hour, what is the underlying reason for this market splitting and how we can improve it? So um, the short uh, response uh, would be that, um, of course, uh, the... the um, difference in prices on, on the uh, one or, or another side of the border correcting to the bidding zones can be caused by, of course, limiting uh, capacities or, or diff other, let's say, limitations uh, between uh, two bidding zones, which are provided as an input for the uh, market coupling session, so the, the calculation itself. So, and this is usually uh, related to the uh, topology uh, of the of the uh, of the grid. And um, I would say that the 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 process itself is um, the most efficient allocation of these limitations. But this doesn't mean that we will we will actually have the full full price coupling of whole Europe. Nevertheless, it happens. Um, maybe also in these uh, strange times we are living now with high, high prices, but we can observe some, some convergence of prices, at least on the regional level. Um, so this would be my, my short response regarding the, um, the first question. Second question, um, I hope that I'm going in order, um, but nevertheless, I, I hope I won't miss something. So we have a comment regarding the Euphemia algorithm and how Euphemia is coping with the increasing, increasing complexity over the years, uh, which I indeed fully agree that, uh, and thanks for the comment, uh, that Euphemia is continuously challenged with all the changes we are bringing on board. And the comment is going in the direction that um, from uh, the slides, it seems that R&D is the key um, answer to the to the complexity coming uh, through the years, and uh, the question goes: uh, Does it cost more to delay the result publication? I assume this means more more time for calculation itself uh, than to invest into the R and D. Um, so what are the possible impact on the TSOs and, and power exchanges operations, if any? So indeed, as mentioned, so we have. Uh, complexity uh, coming in through the years uh, and um, not only the geographical extensions uh, coming in uh, almost every year but also already mentioned the, the uh, different flow base uh, inputs so for for now core flow based market coupling and nordic flow based many times mentioned 15 minutes uh, mtu so these are all the changes coming in and we are addressing those on both sides. I mean, R&D is of course one one answer, the main the main answer to the to the complexity. But also on the on the timing uh, side, um, we are at least on ESDAC side constantly working on the improvement of the timing. So uh, currently, 
the process is, is designed in a way that we have basically one minute to the minute description what the, the steps uh, are to achieve uh, from 12 o'clock the normal market coupling session or on the end uh, some, some some kind of backup market coupling session but and, and these timings are constantly improved. We allocated already some time, more time to the calculation itself. And also in the future, this will be part of the discussions how to how to allocate um, more time uh, besides the R&D. R &D. Um, then we have another question I see um, regarding the impact on the repeatability of the future scenarios and uh, the repeatability in the case of distributed computing here probably we can we can spend some time but uh, shortly um, evaluation on the repeatability was not performed in for the future scenarios so the repeatability future is the requirement linked to algorithm version in production in the moment so this was not uh, uh, done, and it is used for the with the historical data. Regarding the assessment uh, for, with the distributed computing, uh, the repeatability tests were not yet performed, as uh, in the moment there is no testing environment yet with uh, several machines. Uh, so with distributed computing, where uh, and we don't have solution in place yet that we would uh, be able to test that. But we can follow up with that also, also during the um, further uh, discussion with with the stakeholders. Um, let me continue. Okay, I think that, uh, that that's all which I see in the moment. Kata, maybe did you uh, record any more questions uh, in the meantime, at least for ESDAC? No, not not for ESDAC. Okay. Okay. Stefano, please, the floor is yours. Yeah. If there are any questions, we didn't receive so far any any questions. So nothing, nothing to add. Uh, well, anyway, we collect uh, all the questions, and uh, it's going to be answered in written form, which will be available on the NEMO committee and the NSOE website. So we will answer all of your questions, uh, if not here, then then written. And uh, I just encourage you to subscribe uh, on the NEMO committee and the NSOE uh, uh, newsletter, so you will be. Um, informed as soon as the the uh, answers are published. Um, just one additional question arrived just right now. Uh, I don't know if uh, you can see it or can I uh, just uh, read it to you, Mia Stefano? I see the question, yeah. Um, it is, uh, what about the investment in the enhanced mm -hmm. hardware? Um, I can maybe comment it from, from their head point of view that also the, the hardware, of course, uh, is, is uh, part of our uh, assessment. So um, uh, indeed, this is uh, also included in the, in the process of uh, enhancing the market coupling session. Uh, and I think also on intraday, Stefano, you can comment it regarding the enhanced hardware maybe. Yeah, I mean, the, we, we, we are coping with the investment uh, for further releases uh, with the service provider. So the topic uh, is tackled uh, project level. We have uh, uh, periodic uh, meetings with the DBAG just to uh, agree with them the, the change request, the next releases, and to I mean, to, to, to develop uh, step by step the, the system in order to um, make it, uh, uh, let's say, uh, compatible with a new uh, scenario that, uh, with the increasing volumes that we, we, we saw, the, the number of trades per second, and so on. 